Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiter, Tear, consultant audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest demonstration video of our soon to be launched Waxscape. I'd just like to start off by uh, wishing you all a happy new year. I hope you all had a great start to 2024. In addition, I hope you all had a wonderful and um, merry Christmas um, and you've enjoyed uh, uh, some time off work, hopefully for, for most of you and spending time with loved ones. So this patient attended with a blocked left ear and I'm using the wax goat with our, I think, 4.25 millimeter specular, which is our um, uh, medium sized specular. You, we've got a smaller size, a 3.5 mil, which is the one that I actually prefer using the most. And that's because it just allows me more maneuverability in the ear. So I'm able to navigate in the ear a lot better with it and stretch and dilate in the ear canal. And of course, a lot of patients who suffer from wax problems have narrow and twisty ears so um, 3.5 millimeter is definitely my preferred size however this patient's got quite a large ear canal so i just used this size up we do have an additional size up of or two additional sizes we have a five millimeter for large ears and a 5.75 and the 5.75 mainly is going to be for surgically operated ears so patients for example with mastoid cavities now initially Perform microsuction, but as you can see, this wax and keratin looks so strongly it did that the suction was um, doing very little. So I've decided to remove this wax and keratin plug uh, manually, or sometimes what we call mechanically, using ENT micro instruments. So I'm just using the new right correct here, and with the wax scope, you can really it, compared to the eye clear scope. I feel. You can really see the curvature, the, the angulation of the, 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 the correct and also the arc. And maybe you can see it here a bit better as well. So um, there's a curve on this um, correct. Um, not only inwards, you can see it kind of goes inwards, but also the scoop itself, the surface of it, there's, a, there's an arc mirroring a spoon um, and the arc is um, designed to... You can probably see it a lot better here, actually, to mimic the curvature of the ear canal. And that allows me to glide in a lot better in between the canal wall and the wax and keratin plug. And there's obviously less friction, so it's more comfortable for the patient. Now, guys, I don't want to spend too much time. It's a, it's a new year and don't want to start off on a negative note. But it hasn't gone unnoticed in the last month, I would say, that there's been a sharp increase of some really horrible, nasty comments, uh, particularly on YouTube and TikTok. Um, TikTok's a platform that I've not really spent much time on, but um, yeah, it's just got a bit silly. Now, first of all, guys, I know a lot of you don't like the view of the wax gate, and that's completely fine. That's why I generally try not upload these videos just on the Clear Wax YouTube channel, but uh, upload it on LinkedIn and I do on Facebook because a lot of people on Facebook actually enjoy these videos. But um, these videos, when I'm performing them, they're not for entertainment purposes, guys. So uh, these are actual health and medical uh, procedures. Now, I think a lot of people have been spoiled with the view provided by the Endoscope, which is the normal device that I use, the iClearscope. Um, but unfortunately, not many people use an Endoscope. Um, um, and that's because they find it difficult to use. So the view that you're saying with the Waxscope is probably far superior than any other method bar uh, an ENT operating microscope. So when ENT surgeons perform ear surgery, they use an operating ENT microscope. And in fact, uh, I had an ENT surgeon um, visit my clinic just last week as a colleague of mine to put the wax scope through its, uh, through its uh, very, well, rigorously test the wax scope to see just how good it is. And he actually said that for in terms of ear wax removal, the wax scope is he feels superior than the ENT microscope you get a better view the only difference being is with an ENT microscope your your depth perception um, is through what we call binocular uh, vision uh, also known as stereoscopic vision whereas with the wax scope because you're viewing this on a 2d monitor your depth perception you're acquiring using a different way it's a monocular depth perception and you, you're acquiring that via uh, changing in focus so when something's not in focus you know it's the depth is incorrect so by adjusting the focus you get the depth perception it's a bit different um so but there seems to be a lot of people on youtube and tiktok in particular who 
kind of just even with the eye clear scope, even with the endoscope, um, feel that they know better than me, who's you know a specialist at what I do. Um, I had someone the other day, uh, kind of, you know, throwing insults at me, and um, when I asked what they actually do for for a living, because it they were so damning that there must have been a specialist. I thought they said they were a delivery driver, and I just thought, you know this is my speciality and I'm having someone um, who's a delivery driver question my, my skills and credentials. And in the same way, I'm not a delivery driver. I don't drive a HGV truck and I, I need a lot of training to do that. So I wouldn't pass comment myself in anyone else's profession because that's their profession. That's what they're trained to do. So it seems like the a level of ignorance is it's definitely on the rise recently. And what topped it off was on TikTok, um, I think someone left a nasty comment and a viewer who are, who are very grateful for um, stuck up for me. Um, and it resulted in the original perpetrator wishing uh, this viewer who stuck up for me diarrhea on Christmas Day. Come on, guys, just let's just let's grow up, um, start acting our age and not our shoe size and be polite and respectful to one another. And... As I said, unless you're an ENT specialist or uh, any other ear care uh, professional who's been properly trained, you're not in a position to really critique what I do in the same way I'm not in a position to critique what you do for a living. So, and be, don't be nasty to, to other people. I mean, I do this, I, I don't make great amounts of monetization on this, uh, especially on YouTube. Um, it's not suitable for ad, all advertisers. So I'm doing this to kind of help educate people, um, not only the public, but also my colleagues who are interested in performing ear wax removal. So you have a choice. If you don't like, don't watch. Uh, simple as that. But then no need to be nasty. But hopefully I won't have to bring this matter up again in the new year. But if I do, I'm just going to probably just disable comments again because you know no one wants to read horrible comments, um, not only aimed at me, but also to other viewers who just uh, you know appreciate the work that I do so but you can see we managed to um, remove all of that using a combination of uh, the rye correct also the ear hook and also the ear pick in there and we've got a lovely visual of this patient's eardrum so I'm just adjusting the focus and you can see all that blood capillaries supplying the blood and nutrients to the hammer bone I hope you enjoyed that video guys if you are interested in the wax coat please email info at clearwax.co.uk thank you bye